Lib Morgan. She is one of the most beloved women's wrestlers of today. All right. But I personally think when we see AJ Francis with a simple emotional tweet, hashtag free live, you know, you're supporting your friend. I get it. But that's kind of reckless because you, you downplay the fact that Liv Morgan was swerving all over the road in an area of Florida, right by the villages. Now, I don't know if, if any of you have ever seen the commercials over the years for the villages. That's like a retirement community in Florida. You go there, you know, and you're a young guy. You're not going there to get laid unless you're looking for a grandma, mama. Um, that is an elderly community. And she was right next to that elderly community on the road, C-476, swerving all over the place, crossing this double yellow line and the white line numerous times. Again, I am a big supporter of Liv Morgan. I am not throwing her under the bus. I'm just telling you what happened and how I feel about it, the IWC's reaction to it, and something I think needs to change in Florida. But, you know, you look at this road. You got trees on one side, and you got brush and hilly area on the other side. And then a little bit further up, you got the villages. All right. I'm not trying to be morbid here, but when I see this screenshot of this road, do you know what I think about? Anybody remember a screenshot of another road from earlier this year that involved a tragic death in the world of pro wrestling where somebody lost control of their car and hit another vehicle head on? Um, there was no drugs involved there. All right. This is not a fucking road where, oh, you know, I might hit a, uh, a, a plastic cone if I lose control. This is where this happened. And the, the actual report, okay, and this is straight from the villages.com, which is the official site for the villages where they report all the news. Now, I'm not here to shit on Mike Johnson, a PW insider. A PW insider did what everybody else does. And they go on the sheriff's website and they search for Liv Morgan's name, real name, Giona DiDio, and they see this. Now, where you get the cut and paste jerk-offs out there is if you look at your screen right now, this is what she was arrested for. She was arrested for two counts. Um, because some people don't do research, they don't know that one is a uh, third-degree felony and one is a uh, first-degree misdemeanor. That's what the F's and the M's stand for there. If you notice, the marijuana possession is a $1,000 bond, which only cost 100 bucks. But the possessing act, con constructive possession of synthetic cannabinoids, okay, that's a $2,000 bond. That is the third degree felony. That is the serious charge. The weed charge is the smallest of this deal. But where you get cute with the custom paste websites is that Mike Johnson reported, and the exact words were that she was, she had, Morgan was arrested for possession of marijuana, not more than 20 grams, and possession of drugs, possibly synthetic cannabinoids. And you know where they got the word possibly from? They looked at this report and they see P-O-S-S. And the idiot thinks that that stands for possibly. Do you think any fucking court would write on an arrest report that this person was charged with a third degree felony for possibly happy, having synthetic cannabinoids? Possibly. No, that POSS stands for possession. She had constructive possession. And you know what the funny thing is? I invite you all go on all the wrestling news websites that reported this and just search for the word possibly. If you see the word possibly, you know they just cut and paste it from other idiots that don't know how to read law. Okay, but let me get into a little bit more details here about what happened. What is constructive possession? Now, I'm not reading from any Google definition. But what constructive possession is, is that you have in your possession synthetic cannabinoids, synthetic weed, 
Uh, I was actually told that it could be called Spice K2. You know, you get the synthetic marijuana that you vape with because she got caught with a vape pen as well. Synthetic cannabinoids are illegal in Florida. They're illegal in Florida. Here's where I feel Lib Morgan undeservingly is being charged for this. The officer smelled marijuana in the car. Constructive possession means is it's something in your vicinity that you, you isn't on your person, but you could, you have access to. So it could have been in a glove compartment. It could have been a sealed bag. It could have been in the trunk of her car. Doesn't mean that she was using it. It doesn't mean that it was open. It means that it was in her vehicle that although not used and not opened, she still had access to it. That is still considered a third degree felony. Now, what's fucked up about this with Florida, and I'm telling you this straight up, you could buy edibles, you could buy synthetic at gas stations in Florida. You could go to some bodegas and they sell it there. And for some odd reason, they don't close these places down. I personally, look, I, I appreciate everybody who keeps saying that, oh, Liv Morgan should have a mar medical marijuana card. You're not allowed to smoke weed in a car. It hampers your reactions. Like I said, all you need to do is swerve the wrong way. Remember what the police report said. This is the exact, this is the report, not the Mike Johnson version where you leave out reckless driving, you leave out specific words. This is exactly what was written. The deal was driving a yellow Jeep around 6.30 p.m. on Thursday on County Road 476 when a Sumter County Sheriff noticed the vehicle crossed over the yellow and the white lines on the roadway several times. That was left out of the reports on the wrestling sites. When the deputy approached the Jeep, he smelled marijuana in the vehicle. After searching the vehicle, they found marijuana, less than 20 grams, which is a uh, first-degree misdemeanor. It's not a big deal. She'll probably get cleared on that. But she also possessed drug equipment, which I know a vape is a little bit extreme, but because inside the vape, they found synthetic THC, whether it was spice or whatever it is, they found it in the vehicle and she got arrested for it. Now, I want to make something clear that no one is talking about, and this is a good thing for Liv Morgan. She was not arrested for driving under the influence. She was not arrested for reckless driving. She was pulled over because a car was all over the road, but the officer, I guess, determined that she was not inebriated. Could she have been parked and smoked a little bit earlier and then got behind the wheel? Could, listen, you have marijuana in your car. You could smoke in the morning. Go home. Stay home for eight hours. Get back in your car and then go somewhere, and your car will still smell like weed. Believe me, I've been in people's vehicles. I, I, when you don't smell it, and you don't smoke it, you smell it. Just like a smoker. When someone smokes in their car, even if they haven't smoked in their car all day long, you know, it still smells. So the most important thing for Liv Morgan right now is, A, she was not arrested for driving under the influence, and B, she was not arrested for reckless driving. She had it in the vehicle. Having a medical marijuana card, you the car should not be smelling of weed. You cannot smoke in a car, period. 
Again, I'm not accusing Liv Morgan of smoking weed in the car. But when people say, oh, just get a medical marijuana card, that's not the answer. You cannot have synthetic cannabinoids in Florida. A lot of states, period. Even if you go to a bodega and it, they'll look orange-flavored edibles with THC, you don't think I wouldn't enjoy that? I'd fucking eat that shit if it was available. But it's still not legal. And she got caught with it. And that's why she was arrested. She paid $300 to buy two bonds totaling $3,000. And she is out. Now, do I think WWE is going to give her a hard time for it? No, 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 not at all. Do I think Liv Morgan was smoking and driving? No. Because believe me when I tell you, in Florida, let alone that area, do a Google search for Sumter County. Sumter County don't fuck around. They don't fuck around. They would have given her more charges if they thought that she was using while operating. They did not give her those charges. It just happens that she had it in the vehicle. So, yeah, I get it, you know, she wasn't, um, you know, she wasn't breaking any crazy laws, but you got to understand, my friends. And again, this is not ragging on Liv Morgan, but it wasn't that she was just driving down the street and the cop pulled her over or the cop smelled weed as she drove by. The, the words were that she was driving erratically, that she crossed over the yellow and white lines several times. My friends, cross that yellow line right now on that picture. What, what do you end up meeting? Hey, Mr. Car Mr. Van, how you doing? You know, this could have led to a serious accident. You look at the intersection and you understand, but the problem is, and this is the internet wrestling community at its finest, when you leave out those words, because they left them out, those words. You just think that she got pulled over, they found weed in the car, and they arrested her. Free live. Free live. I'm a big fan of AJ Francis. Sorry, it's blocked. I, But that's fucking reckless. That is fucking reckless. Read the whole story. You know, not off a wrestling news site. They have to change this law in Florida about stores or if, if it is illegal, fucking enforce it. Because I watch On Patrol Live every week. I used to watch Live PD religiously. And anybody out there that is hearing me say this, that have watched those shows on a semi-regular basis, will say the exact same thing I'm about to say. Almost every week, someone gets arrested in Florida they open a trunk and they find edibles. They op open a duffel bag and they find synthetic. And it looks like candy. It looks like gummies. Sometimes it has all these kitty little graphics on it. Snowflakes, sunflowers, animals, deer. You know, it's all these cute little things. Ooh, it looks great. Grape flavor, soda flavor, chocolate flavored. And then the person gets arrested for it. I'm like, I didn't even open it. I bought it from the gas station right on the corner. I didn't, I didn't know. I bought it. I swear on Jesus Christ, almost every week or every other week, you will see somebody on TV. And yeah, some people could be lying. But when too many people are saying the same thing, look, I didn't know it was illegal. I was buying gas. I saw it on the shelf. I bought it. It looked good. Hey, I, I smoke weed. I thought that this would be a great, great alternative. I didn't know it was illegal. They don't crack down on these places because you do a Google search right now, you will see message boards and Reddit posts in Florida. Hey, where can I get some good edibles? Where can I get this? Where can I get that? Where can I get some good synthetic shit to, shit to vape on? And you'll have all these people posting stores and the cops do nothing. Cops do nothing. I think in the end, Lib Morgan's charges will be dropped. She might, they'll probably drop it down to just a fine. I don't think the, the marijuana situation, I think that charge will be dropped. But I think what will happen is she'll go to court, plead not guilty, and say that I did not know that this stuff was illegal. And I think the court, because she has no record, Liv Morgan has no negative history. 
I do believe, and I'm not saying this because it's the nice thing to say or because a lot of people feel this way online. I say it because I truly feel it. Liv Morgan doesn't come across as one of those that, you know, is looking to party and break the law and not give a shit. You know, this is not a sunny in the making 20 years from now. This is someone that I think truthfully, you know, uh, has a little bit of marijuana, which is perfectly fine. You know, you take it for pain, you take it to relax, you take it for anxiety. I totally get it. And I think what happened was that, you know, she went to a place, saw this as an alternative. Hey, you know, I don't want my clothes to smell like weed. I got to go to a party. I got to go to the claw premiere. I got to go hang out with MJF. I don't want to smell like weed. I have an edible instead. A grape flavored goofy. You know, it, it, look at these edibles. They're called goofy. <laughs> you know, and. I don't even know what that was, but I think Liv Morgan will be fine. But understand that instead of just telling the truth or just telling it like it is, people leave out very, very critical words that make you understand that this could have turned into a major tragedy. You see that road. The cop sees her crossing those lines. You know, she's not crossing the line because it's a chicken. You know, she's not crossing that line on the road because it's a chicken going by. You know, why did Liv cross the line? Because a chicken was crossing the road. You know, that could turn into a, a bit. Plus, it's the villages. It's the villages. You got a plethora of 70, 80, and 9 year olds. Eek, look, I see a cow. Ooh, it's sunny out. Sunny. You know, I don't want I don't like driving when there's a whole bunch of old people on the road. You know, you're hanging out, you cross the thing. You know, oh look, this car is coming my way. You're right in the elderly community. Gotta be a little bit extra careful. I hope all this shit gets cleared for live. I hope it does. I think that most of it will. But Florida, it's fucked up, man little piece of advice for any of you that live in Florida, you got to abide by the law. Yes, laws need to be changed. Yes, some of the laws are unfair, but they are still laws and you can't use the excuse, but, 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 but nothing, but nothing. Courts don't want to hear that shit. Thank God this didn't turn into an accident or something else, but that's what happened to live. That's what happened to live. So, you know, I'm giving you the straight up story with it, how you feel about it. You know, you're more than happy to express your opinion afterwards. Once I have an update on the court information, I will let you all know. And then, you know, like I said, I don't see much coming out of this. So 